Today on Drawbly, we are looking at the art of Jebedai Couture. Hey, I'm Ben. And I'm Abby. And we are self-taught artists documenting our drawing adventures because art is better when shared with friends. So click that subscribe button if you're new around here. And let's check out some art from Jebedai Couture. Mm -hmm. um, there is a lot of really cool stuff in here that we are going to take a look at. I am a huge fan of their art style. You mentioned that we would be going from oldest art to newer art, is that right? Not oldest but some older art to most recent, mm -hmm, yes. Mm -hmm. And there are a couple things I want to point out with their art. Uh, obviously, in terms of style. <laughs> Look at the little, like, whip chain of the skull of the fish on there. That's so cute and creative that the ninja cat has got a little fish. And all of these are unbelievably creative. They're super fun. Here's some, awesome. some spoilers for Pluto. Um, oh, did recently. this person work on Pluto? Uh, I don't believe so. I believe that this is just fan art. But uh, I want to talk about their art style, wow. not just in terms of, like, shape language. You'll notice, like, a lot of similar styles in terms of shapes and proportions. Mm -hmm. But also in terms of like the brushes they use, their brushwork, the textures that they use. Yeah, it is a very textured style that they use here. I am a huge fan of this art style. Yeah. And I want to pull some of this into my own work. Yeah. What we do here on these artist adventures, for those that are new here, is we try to slow things down from the mindless scrolling to take a look at some cool artwork and see what we can learn from them. Right, really take into account what uh, we might want to learn from these artists and how we can employ that into our own art. I, I just love how chunky his characters are. Yeah, that's what I'm getting is a lot of like round fun shapes which give this a very fun feel. Not a lot of like hyper detail work, although look at the core of that evil knight there. It looks like he has he's like... spilling his guts. He's spilling his guts there. And he's spilling that guy's guts. Which is just kind of fun as a detail to focus on. This is really cool, too. The, the way the feet are drawn often in this style is just like, whoop, down whoop. to the point. <laughs> and like, hey, this is here to serve a purpose, and it's a stylistic purpose, and that's it. But I just love the texture yeah. that he gets on his work. It's so simple, but it just adds so much flavor to this. Like, if you go back and forth between these two, mm -hmm. no texture, texture, mm -hmm. you know? Or, I, I feel like it adds a lot. Like, if you look at yeah. the skin of this character, it's all flat. But if you look at all that noise on the mm -hmm. armor, really simple, but it adds another layer. This person is really good at form and really good at like simple perspective, I feel like as well, to get these hard surface things right. I feel like people have to know their perspective pretty well, which I do not, so uh, I struggle with hard surface. Well, so far, we've only been looking at some character designs, which are beautiful <gasps> wow. and amazing. Wow, these Love beautiful the animals and then little mouse, you see your mouse. But we will see some like scenes with characters in environments here shortly. Yeah. Oh, I thought that was a two-headed sheep for a second. I mean, maybe it is. Maybe <laughs> it could be. This is super cool. Yeah, I just... Here, here's like a really good example Colors! Of yes! Really We've got a lot of like really good color blocking and textures and I love the color choices. Everything is very saturated to me, um, but I like it. I like it. I like it as well. These are some works from uh, Chrono Trigger, which I don't think is a video game you've ever played, mm -mm. but it's a fan favorite of many, including myself. I love to see such simple shapes look so clean and well thought out. Like it, it really feels like everything is so, so intentional. And, and at the same time, like, oh, I just kind of doodled this out in a moment. But at the same time you look and you're like, this was a lot of work to get something so simple to look this good. That's hard. Something I say as a stylized character sculptor is that simple doesn't mean easy. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people will look at something like this and say, oh, that's so simple. It's gotta be easy. Uh, but that couldn't be further from the truth. Right, right. Also, I just want to give a shout out to my boy F Froge over here, Frog. Yeah, look at him Frog the Knight. That hole. <laughs> He's an awesome character. These are so cool. I've actually sculpted him before. Oh, that's ago. awesome. Wow, this is a big piece. Got really some characters big. in an environment. Yeah. I just noticed that I think that's like a little spiral poop emoji on his tongue. It kind of <laughs> looks like that. I, like a, it's a dog statue and dogs eat their own poop sometimes. So maybe we don't know. Who knows? It could, be, it could be anything. It's different, okay? <laughs> All right, quick qu pop quiz. Who are these characters from? Uh, Final Fantasy. Wow. Uh, pick a number. Cloud. Uh, Cloud. Two. <laughs> Close enough. Close enough. 
Uh, I, I I don't know what this character's from. Also, also Final Fantasy? I don't know. But Maybe. she's awesome, and I love her design. I like her hair. I do like her hair a lot as well. Starting oh. to get in some creatures. Some more Astro Boy. This is really cool. I like all the uh, graininess here, especially. It gives us this sense of like motion and zoom. There's definitely some motion, or there's some like perspective blur mm -hmm. on this, where his far left side of his head is out of focus. The hand is more in focus. Mm -hmm. Even with something simple like this, like it actually adds a lot to it. It's yeah, cool. definitely. I really want to study this guy's art style and just try to figure out exactly what they're doing with their lines as well. Because if you take a look at their line work here, their lines are so it's minimal. Pretty, it's pretty scratchy and sketchy here and there. But yeah, it is kind of minimal as well. Like it's pretty. Like you get like the sense it's, there it's was painted. an original sketch, but um, we don't see much in terms of actual line work here left over from the original sketches. I love how much form there is in this character, despite such like a limited color palette to show like detail, it still feels very, it's very finished. Impressive. Mm -hmm. It's very impressive. It uh, kind of reminds me of, and we mention this artist quite often, Can Liu, in terms of mm -hmm. taking really simple steps for these colors, like from light to dark and just kind of rendering an entire shape from that. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. really cool. Yeah, I like that. I feel like that kind of thing is, uh, that kind of skill is obviously, you know, what many people want to get to. Mm -hmm. I really like that effect, just having that kind of stair-stepping, hard-edged nature, especially with, um, I can't remember his name, but one of the artists we recently looked at did these hard-painted cats. Mm -hmm. Do you remember those? I think so, I think so. Um, I'll pull them up on screen, and I'll mention the artist as well. But... He did a really good job of taking these hard edges and making them look soft, even mm. though they weren't. Hmm. So hmm. I would love to really kind of practice that because it's, I'm not great with soft edges. <laughs> no, no, I, I can't. I have not made them look this good. No, no, no this is awesome. You uh, get so also, much it's just form. so fun. There's so much character in every single one of these. Yeah, I can't help but imagine this artist just like absolutely loves what they do. Yeah, it's like such an just interesting world time. that they've created here. I mean, these are obviously like a bunch of pirate characters here. Mm -hmm. Like, ah, it's just such an interesting world. And I believe that this was an art station challenge. Um, with a bunch of really fun characters. Yeah, I really like the blowfish guy. <laughs> the blowfish guy is awesome. This picture feels really intricate to me. There's a lot going on, really. There is. A lot of choices to be made in terms of composition. So that's really cool to see. Yeah, Mr. Blowfish. Yeah, everything in this, like where to focus the eye, but still have interesting things going on. Just like the little area under his ship has like this kind of like faded out, mysterious look to it. But that's not even the focus, nor are the look brass knuckle looking things on that wooden piece there, but they're there. Yeah, they, I love they, that. there's like a really interesting use of tools to create that focus with obviously mm -hmm. silhouette and then color, mm -hmm. but it's not like hyper saturated or anything to force you to look at it. Mm -hmm. It's just like, hey, this color is different and unique and it makes him stand out because of that. Yeah. Same thing here, kind of being separate from the sand and the bone. Yeah, and you have a lot more of a finished clean edge on the head of the guy versus the, anywhere on the sand and the bones where it's a lot more of a rough that, edge. That's also very true. That's a good point. Yeah, there's a lot of that going on. Mm -hmm. Not something I would have picked up on immediately. That's hard too to make that choice to leave things intentionally more grainy. If you spend a lot of time finishing one part of an artwork, you're like, well, I gotta go and finish the rest of it now. Yeah. Oh, wow. Wow. This is really, really good. It's super cool. Like, oh I, my gosh. I want to, I want to go there. I want to watch this race. Yeah. Yeah. This is awesome. Yeah. And there's so much more. Like, he just has a whole world that of characters so cool. set in these different scenes. And yeah. They're just so interesting. Like, I, I could just look at this guy's art all day. This is a very imaginative person. In fact, I think I will. I will just look at this person. All day. <laughs> we could. <laughs> we totally could. This is amazing. Look at the world building here. The more I look at this picture, the more I see, like, the big fish bones on top of the building, the little statue up in the top left. Oh. Yeah, just a lot of world building going on. Like, mm -hmm. just imagine creating this whole map and then, like, setting your characters in that scene. It's, it's just, 
it's got to be rewarding too yeah to absolutely. get to the point of being able to do this it's just so expertly crafted it's yeah it's such a unique universe that clearly they've put a lot of time and effort into creating mm -hmm. and i'm pretty sure these are all personal works as well wow they're so good they're so good this is so cool i thought you might like them yeah yeah i love this Huh. Some characters exploring haunted house. Well, I'm sure this person will continue to have a long and successful career ahead of them as an artist, because these are absolutely amazing. <laughs> and if you want to have a long and successful career as an artist, click that like and subscribe button so that you don't miss any of our future artist adventures. Yeah, share your work on Instagram with hashtag Drawbly, because drawing's better with friends. And this is the part where we say... Goodbye. Goomba. There's even more crazy art. You should definitely go yeah. check out this artist. Click the link down in the description if you have not seen. We share all the links to all of our artists that we check out. <laughs>